All right, team, take a look at the Ingersoll Rand right angle die grinder. So we got a lot of instructions and two wrenches. So there it is. I mean, I love these Ingersoll Rand tools. These things always feel great in the hand. It does have this little spring guard, so it's not just going off when you set it down. If you want to, you can take that thing out. That is just a little pin. You can hammer that out and remove that if you want to. I personally like having these things, but some people drive them crazy. And in the end, we got just a rubber cap. We can get that out. There we go. So we do not have an adapter, so you're gonna have to supply your own adapter. So this is what I'm using, just some Sun Gator quarter MPT. And that is the correct fitting. You don't have to use this, but I like having my tools with no leaks, so. Okay. And then our two wrenches are to loosen up that chuck. So the shorter one goes on the back and the other one goes right here. Now this is already loose, so it's not a big deal. What I use these things for is for these things. So these are Rolox style sanding discs. When I put this on, it is probably gonna be the only thing that this tool ever sees. So this is all it is. Little plastic threaded thing fits onto this. And that turns this into the most useful tool in our shop. So we actually had one that was, it wasn't an Ingersoll Rand, it was another one, but it disappeared, so we just had to replace it. Cause this thing, you can't, you can't really run a shop without something like this. These things are fantastic. What I mean by that is this is some paint that was on a plate and I was trying to clean that up just by running it through a wire wheel. An eight inch wire wheel, this took me over a minute to get that much paint off. And I didn't even get to the metal on this part. This is some very tough paint. No leaks, that's good. So you always want to put some oil in. I'm using just 10 weight oil. Just put a couple drops in. That was a bit too much. You want to do that every single day that you use this tool, just because you want this thing to last. Nice. So if I hit this paint with this, that takes no time at all. Perfectly ready to weld. And you can see this nasty edge that we got on here. move. They're, they're just so nice to have. Right, now I got a weld that I want to knock down. There we go. And you can go as crazy with that as you want to. So yeah, this is a shop's best friend. We use these things all the time. These are fantastic tools.